99 out the first park tunnel. Hey guys, Gogsy here and welcome back to a brand new matchday vlog. Today has been hectic, it's a massive quick turnaround that does not make sense but today it's Aberdeen away and literally today I've been in Falkirk, I did a press conference and back up here to Cooper and then all the way up to Aberdeen then back down later on. Oh, what a day it's been so far guys and yeah this picture will say a lot. Also, I've been nominated for two categories for the Football Blogging Awards and I'm in the final. So, here is a tutorial on how to vote for me if you're new to the channel. In the description below, there are several links. Link 1 takes you to the official Football Blogging Awards page where you can select me in both categories I've entered. Link 2 makes you tweet your vote to the FBAs on Twitter for me in the best vlogger category. Come on Trips, I'm get some big YouTubers here. Link 3, see above, but for best young content creator. Also you can visit the Football Blogging Awards Instagram and find the appropriate posts and tag me at Gogsy San. I know I'm not asking much, but if you're a season ticket holder on the channel, I appreciate any help I can get. Also, you can pay at the gate. And yes, let's catch that train. Mon the well! I've never had so little energy after an intro before. <laughs> Fantastic place to get friends. That type of music to be walking into, just as the team's coming out. On the well! Oh, that's a 2 0 win for the well. What are you saying, Adam? I'm saying 2 0 defeat. I don't know how to drink it. Even finish my time, we're 1-0 down. Right, that's no, a very, very poor goal to see. Uh, what is Moss Gillespie doing there? He's just standing still. Nah. Singing, man. Sure. Half time at Photography, it's one each. We don't deserve it, but I'm happy that we managed to get that goal back. And because Aberdeen were slaughtering us for a time in that first half, and we were lucky to just keep it at one goal. Although the goal that Aberdeen scored was a bit fluky, in my opinion. Maybe Gillespie thought the ball was going over and the wind, because it's so windy here, the wind may have blown the ball in off the post. But nonetheless, we managed to fight back, equalise, and there's still a chance we can get someone from this game. I mean, still don't see top six happen, uh, but the Hibs are joined with Kumar, I could think. But uh, if we win here, there's still a chance, but we still need a lot of goals. Uh, because if Hibs somehow get a point out of the next two games, we need to overturn a 16 17 goal difference, which I don't think will happen. But uh, anyway, playing right on the second half, Mon the Well. Second half, I'm about to kick off here at Pitodre. Mon the Well. Uffed. Oh, you see why he doesn't see. Being a bit of a clash. Oh. Ab Aberdeen fans are very restless at the moment. The SB is. Done like that's not ideal. We do not have a senior goalkeeper. Okay, 
the deflection and it fell just perfectly for Neil McGinn. Making two subs, Aribi off and Campbell off for Cadden and Rear. Maybe Cadden's playing centre mid. No, he's playing. He'll play right, he'll play right in the midfield to the three. Aye. No, but Hasty's up front with me, though. Don't tell me he's went to 3-5-2. Oh, God. No, he's not. Well, he might don't have. see how he's at. I don't no, even know. He might have not. So who's going to be the third centre? Tate. Tate. Done. He has. He's went to 3-5-2, right? No. That's away. Wait, the way he's fucking in. pointing to the mother of all. Thank you! through a freak cross and it just caught Gillespie out. Any goalkeeper can be forgiven for a mistake like that. If, if you think it's going to go over the bar and then it just swerves in. I know it's his job to keep the ball out the back of the net but I'm forgiving him on this occasion because I mean I think anyone would have let that one in. Then I think we did alright to just hold Aberdeen and just contain them for a bit. We didn't really do much until we scored through Jake Hasty. Uh, uh, just after half an hour. That was our only real chance in the first half. But we did all right to contain Aberdeen and they were restricted to any proper chances. I felt we were decent enough in the defensive part and then the second half came. I thought we grew into the game a lot more, uh, had a couple of chances, uh, then Gillespie has to go off after a clash on Cosgrove and Tate. And Niall McGinn is the luckiest man in the world because the shot from outside the box deflects just to fall perfectly for him. And Rowan Ferguson has no chance. I mean, no keeper on the planet has a chance. I'm not saying we lost because of Mark Gillespie having to go off. I'm saying that that was a fantastic finish. And as a football fan, I mean, one touch you've got and you couldn't even put it any further into the roof of the net. Seven minutes were added on, and in the first of the seven, Carl McHugh, who had a splendid game by the way, apart from his stupid reckless yellow card, uh, played a delightful through ball to Grimmy, who could have chested it, but of course he's a full back, he's, or central defensive midfielder, he's not really got that capability to think like a striker. Uh, and then, he headers it, it just goes wider over the bar. If he scored there, I think we could have held the Dons on to a draw. Unfortunately, we couldn't do so. And just as we're going for that equaliser, uh, Aberdeen hit us on the break. And let's be honest, that was a first class finish. The game didn't deserve a goal like that, it was that poor. Uh, but Niall McGinn, what a finish, right in the top corner. The way he just bends it into the top corner, as if there's a lamppost standing on the penalty spot and he's just swerved it around the lamppost and went in. Now top six is over, uh, we can now go and look on to Rangers at home on Sunday and pop them 5 now. that'd be great. Uh, <laughs> anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, please leave a like down below if you want more of this snazzy content, subscribe if you're new. I'm Gogs89, bet you wish you were. And please do remember to get voting uh, for myself. It's an absolute pleasure to be nominated for this. And when I go there, I just want to go have a good time. It's not all about winning. As you can see, as this is a mother channel, it's not all about winning. And yeah, guys, I'll see you later. Take care.